Welcome back to the Paranormal Review. And today we got a video called Bigfoot Structure Totally Awesome in Ohio, Georgia Bigfoot. Put up by Georgia Bigfoot, February 13th, 2019. Awesome TP structure. Let's go. All right, guys, before we begin, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button. That way you don't miss out on any of our videos coming up in the future. And let's see this thing, guys. Now, there's some trees leaning over in, in the forest. There's a teepee back over here. And, you know, that tells me one thing, guys. Bigfoot. For sure been so here. This is the other evidence here. Now, you'd think that people made what I'm about to show you, but you got these other things. And this is your evidence. What are things? I think I'm tripping over every stick as I film. I don't see that many sticks. Okay. So, guys, this is what happens when wind blows on um, trees really, really, really hard. They fall over. They snap and they fall over. And, you know, they don't always fall over and just land straight down. They land and they look they're eight feet tall. Like, they don't just fall from the bottom. They fall eight feet up they're, and they're falling. Sometimes these trees fall against each other. Like, I'm going to show you guys in one second. Um, let me fast forward to that section. Right? These trees right here, they blew over and they fell against other trees. There's a teepee kind of forming right here. And, you know, over the years, if you get enough things falling over and over on this, you get a big, huge teepee-like structure. Um, also, you know, you get enough trees on the ground like this, you might actually come and prop them up and put them in piles to clean up your area a little bit. I don't know if that's what happens sometimes, but just because you have big, huge trees falling over, it doesn't mean the Bigfoot pulled this tree out, out of the ground and plucked it out of the ground and, and popped it on a teepee. Anyways, let's keep going. This thing is one sweet, tall right. structure. I'm out in the forest and made piles of, so of like, things like this with my friends and made kind of structures and, and whatnot, you know. And who knows? It, I mean, who, this one actually is one of the more and, um, sheltered type structures. Most most structures that I see people show have like five or six little branches and they're like, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a Bigfoot shelter. This one here, even though it's not going to block that much rain, it, you know, it's still going to provide some shelter from the wind if it was a structure. It's not going to be great because it's not waterproof. It I mean, it, even the ones that have pine needles and leaves on it aren't necessarily waterproof, but they're a lot better than just what this is, right? So is this a structure made by Bigfoot? I don't know. Is it a bunch of teenagers and friends and in the I'll forest making, making a fort? Most likely. As high as I can make it right now with the computer that I have. Right, but just to assume that Bigfoot I'll threw this branch across the thing or threw this up, you know, that's the but, Probably the most the least fort. likely um, thing that's happened. Uh, he's just kind of showing more of the surrounding area. There's not really much else, guys. There's another little tiny structure he shows right here. Um, but that's about it. In my opinion, guys, number one, this, this structure isn't waterproof. It isn't the greatest structure in the world. It is better than a lot of the other ones I've seen in different videos. But still, this isn't going to protect you from rain, from snow, of course, it's better than nothing, but why not take some leaves and pile them on there as well? Um, in this climate, maybe there is no leaves to throw on there. Usually, I've seen these in pine forests where they're evergreen, so there are plenty of pine leaves to you know throw up on a on a structure like this. So yeah, I guess this could be better than nothing if you don't have anything else accessible. But when you think about these kinds of things, you gotta look at the, what's what's the most likely source. There's no big footprints. There's no Bigfoot hair inside of here. At least not none that's talked about. There's no really any evidence that Bigfoot made this. It's just a pile of things in the forest. And so we have to assume that it's most likely just people putting up a structure, maybe cleaning up their property. Maybe it's, they're going to do a controlled burn sooner or later. I don't know. Um, but to assume this is automatically Bigfoot is a little bit of a rushed decision. Anyway, guys, until next time, please subscribe, and we'll see you later.